Good morning, y'all. Hey, y'all. How are you doing? Haven't had a what I eat in a day or a day in the life vlog in a little bit, so we're going to do that today. I have a bunch of errands to run. Got a whole back to school list of stuff the kids need. I used to buy everything ahead of time, but now that they're older, I kind of just wait till school starts and I see what they actually really need, what they can just reuse from last year, that kind of thing. Anyways, so I have that and a whole bunch of other stuff at Target, so I'm going to take y'all along to Target with me, and we're also going to do a what I eat in a day, so let's do it. First cup of coffee today, tablespoon of MCT oil, tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, and a little bit of stevia. I already drank that, so that one is empty. On to next cup of coffee today. Never known about this Stoke cold brew coffee, and it says bold and smooth on it, and it is the smoothest coffee I've ever had. I don't even have to add sweetener. And then I've never used this type of almond milk before, and it's a game changer too. Let's look at the stats. One, it's Cara Genin free, which is good because it kind of messes with my tummy, truthfully. So that's awesome. And in one cup, which is what I did, 35 calories, 3 grams of fat, carbs 1, dietary fiber 1. So basically 0 and then just 1 gram of protein. But it does have calcium in it also, so you get some of your calcium. I just can't tell y'all how much better this almond milk is than ones I've had before. This one, let's look at the stats on it too. I just looked at the stats truthfully for the first time because I just assumed unsweetened coffee had no carbs. This has 10 calories, 2 grams of carbs. So I'm not sure why. I read the what's in it and I don't I guess the natural flavoring must have a little bit of sugar even though it doesn't have sugar on the package I don't know but you know what it's so good I don't even care I'll fit the two grams of carbs in but if you don't want to do that I wanted to make sure you knew so what I do is I add about a cup of each I've already got some ice in my cup And I'm just gonna stir that up, and it is the best iced coffee ever. I've been having one of these a day, usually later in the afternoon, but I'm getting ready to go run my errands and wanted to take it along in the car ride. like two hours at Target. I was like all over the place. I needed a lot of different things but I also was just exploring. Wanted to look at some of the different keto food options and share them with you so I'm going to put a video together with all of that. So this video is just my day in the life but I'm going to be putting a video of good finds for keto that are easy either for on the go or just for easy meals to make easy meals so i will be posting that probably tomorrow i had a lot of fun making that hopefully all the footage will turn out right now i am home it is 2 45 i'm going to eat my first meal of the day and i really really am hungry and thirsty i did not take water with me to target i always take water with me everywhere and i'm definitely regretting that not smart y'all need your water we need our water water is so important hydration is so important 
And I usually have this big cup, y'all have seen it, my big blue cup that I take and I fill it up four times a day and that's 96 ounces of water. I've had zero water today. All I've had is coffee. So not the best what I eat in a day, but I promise by the end of today, I will have all of that water in. All right, so here's what I'm gonna eat. So there's that casserole that we had. This is the mushroom and chicken and sausage casserole. So and collie rice. It doesn't look so great in this picture, but it's really yummy. When I first heated it up the first time, I thought it was a little bit um, on the dry side, so I added some sour cream and some blue cheese, and that combination was phenomenally yummy. So I'm going to do the same right now. I'm going to heat that up and enjoy my lunch. So that's a little bit of mayo, some blue cheese, and we are going to put it in the microwave. But you Gonna heat it up for a minute, 30 seconds, and enjoy. I might even put a little bit of hot sauce on it. Yum, I'm so hungry. All right, it is now 6.24 in the evening, and I am feeling really hungry, so I'm going to have, this is leftover hamburger casserole that we had meal prepped on Sunday and actually eaten Sunday evening. So I am going to heat up some of this with my favorite toppings. So this is what my hamburger casserole looks like with my toppings, and I am ready to dig in. Yum. Gonna eat dinner and catch up on some YouTube. What are y'all having for dinner? Let me know down below. I'm going to have one more cup of my iced coffee too because I am feeling really, really tired and I need to get some stuff done and editing and everything with my videos. So I am going to have one more iced coffee iced coffee makes a girl happy. I'm serious y'all, this combination, you really need to try it. If you haven't had the Stoke coffee, go buy you some like now. Okay y'all, this is my eyebrows. It is, it is about two weeks post microblading, a few days, about 14 days post microblading. They've pretty much healed. Um, Apparently, we're still in a stage where they're still going to come back some, so I don't know exactly what's going on with them, and it's still apparently going to have some changes, but I just wanted to share that because I had been updating a lot, and then I kind of stopped, so this is what they're looking like. I'm still really glad I did them, and I'm anxious to see what they're going to look like after she does the touch-up. Hey y'all, it is the end of the day and I just wanted to do a little bit of a wrap up. My What I Eat in a Day Wednesday is over. It's Wednesday y'all, hump day. Almost the end of this week and then it's Labor Day so everybody has an extra day off or at least most of us will. So that's exciting. We are headed to Ohio for a soccer tournament for Labor Day so it's going to be a super busy weekend for us. Getting to spend these next couple days meal prepping, um, not meal prepping just getting stuff together that I want to take to eat. Not really meal prepping, but kind of, to set myself up for success for the weekend and everybody else also get some laundry done, get some packing done. So busy next couple days. I hope y'all had a great day. I hope your week's been really good so far. Also, I don't know if y'all have heard of this, but I just started leaving my fitness pal for, let me see if I can pull it up, chronometer is what oh, it's too bright you can't see that um, but I am loving this chronometer it gives so much more detail it does net carbs one so that's awesome but also it goes through like your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio your not just protein but types of protein the, all the different macro and micronutrients and you know the amount that you need and the amount that you got that day you can put in all your vitamins and those kind of things that you take also. So I am loving it. And also there's tons of food in there too. Like that's one of the reasons I never leave my fitness pal is because the other apps just don't have as many pre-programmed pre foods. But this one really does. So I don't know. I, I totally, totally recommend it. So 1,483 calories, 85 grams of protein. 10.6 net carbs, 121.6 grams of fat. So I am pretty happy with that. I will take it. So that's a 73% fat, 
3% carb, 23.7% protein. So pretty good ratio. That's pretty much right on where I want to be. So I'm really happy with that and I really, really recommend this app also. It is, I'm really, really liking it. It's called Chronometer. So I will try and put a little blurb of that on the end here also in case you want to check it out or I'll put it down below. That's probably what I'll do. I'll just put it down below the information to go check that out because it is really, really great and I don't think I'll go back to my fitness pal. I'm really, really loving it. All right, that's a longer wrap up than I really wanted. I just kind of got to chatting with y'all. So I hope y'all had a lovely, lovely day and are looking forward to a lovely weekend. What are y'all doing this weekend? Let me know down below. What are you doing this weekend? Anything fun? Cooking out? Get traveling? Anything exciting? Ours is just a regular old soccer weekend. That's pretty much what every weekend looks like for us except for it's going to be really far. Ohio is super far. So anyways, the end of today and I will do another what I eat in a day on Wednesday. A typical what I eat in a day next Wednesday. I'm going to try and have that be a regular thing. And then this weekend, I will probably do a little bit of vlogging of traveling, but mainly focus on what I eat as I'm traveling, because I think those are one of the things that I really like to watch because it's harder to do this when you're traveling. It just, it just is, you know, you need to be prepared and you need to be able to make good choices at restaurants. I have found that restaurants tend to have very easy keto choices. The problem is I see all these yummy things and I end up choosing them rather than my keto options. I'm getting better and better at it and if I show it all to you and show you how I do it, hopefully it will help me be more accountable. So that's my plan. Anyways, good night. Sleep tight. Talk to you soon.